Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying radicals. So this is the part one of our tutorial video on how to multiply radicals. And in this case, or in this kind of tutorial, we will do multiplying radicals with same order, or in other words, they have the same index. So as you can see, we have here example number one, two, and three. And later on, I will give you two more examples to practice on how to multiply radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In item number 1, we are given the square root of 3 times the square root of 15. So again, in this case, we are discussing or we are multiplying radicals with same order, meaning with same index. So how do we multiply radicals with same order or with same index? We have your square root of 3 times the square root of 5. All you need to do is to copy your radical radical sign and then multiply the radicands so you have 3 times 15 and simplifying this this will give you the square root of 45 and we know that we can still simplify square root of 45 which is the square root of nine times ah, sorry times 5. And simplifying square root of 9 times 5, it will give you 3 square root of 5. This is the correct answer for item number 1. So again, after copying the radical sign, all you need to do is to multiply the radicand and simplify it. And then there you have it. You have 3 times the square root of 5. Now let's have item number 2, wherein we're given 2 times the square root of 3xz times the square root of 6xy raised to 3. So as you can see, we have here a given radical with variables. So all you need to do again, they, are, they have the same order, is to multiply the radicand. For, but first we have here the coefficient of 2. We have 2 times the square root of 3 times 6. And then for the x variable, x times x, that will give you x squared. And then for the y variable, you have y cubed, and then z variable. So we have the expression 2 times the square root of 3 times 6, x squared, y cubed, and z. And we know now, when we multiply 3 and 6, it will give you 18. So we can erase this, and we need to write 18. And then, before simplifying it, try to find whether radical is factorable, like number 18. We can factor out 18 as the square root of 2 times 9, right? 1 is a perfect square, and then this is a perfect square, so you have x squared. And for the y cube, you can factor out y cube because there is y squared inside y cube, so you have y squared times y times z. And then simplifying these numbers, so you need to simplify these numbers, so you have 2, and then for the square root of 9, that is 3, so ilabas natin siya, it will become 2 times 3. And then another perfect square here inside the radical, we have the x squared, and the, x, and the square root of x squared is simply x. Then for the y variable, y squared, the square root of y squared is y. So the remaining term, or the remaining radicand, inside your radical sign is the square root of 2, y, and z. Simplifying these numbers outside the radical sign, you can have 6xy times, sorry, xy times the square root of 2y, z. This is the simplified form of item number 2. Now let's move on with item number 3. We have here the given radicals, the cube root of 27x and then the cube root of x squared. Um, there are two possible, possible ways on how to solve this kind of problem, but this is our solution for this tutorial. First, since they have the same index or they have the same order, copy the radical sign. You have the cube root of 27 times x times x squared 
and then multiplying your radicand, it will give you the cube root of 27 x raised to the third power. And we know that 27 is perfect cube, so we can extract the cube root of 27, same as x cubed. So simplifying this radical, it will give you the simplified form of 3x. This is the correct answer for item number 3. Let's move on with item numbers 4, 5, and 6. We're in, as you can see, this one is, uh, this example involves monomial and binomial. So, in multiplying this kind of radical expressions, we will be using distributive property or FOIL method. So, in item number 1, we have the square root of 5. Or item number 4, we have the square root of 5 times 2 plus the square root of 5. So in this kind of problem, we will be using distributive property. So you need to multiply 2 square root of 5 by 2. So that is 2 times the square root of 5. And then you need to multiply square root of 5 to the next term, or to the second term, which is the square root of 5. That will give you the square root of 25. And simplifying this, makakuha tayo ng 2 square root of 5 plus the square root of 25 is simply 5. And this is the answer for it. You have 2 square root of 5 plus 5 or possible din naman na 5 plus the square root of 2 square root of 5. So either of the two, pwede siya maging sagot. And let's move on with item number 5. We have the square root of 6 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. Using this distributive property, we can multiply the square root of 6 by 3. We can have the square root of 18. Okay? Tama? And then for the square root of 6 times the square root of 2, this will give you the square root of 12. And we can factor out 18 and 12, actually. So this is the square root of 9 times 2. And this one will be factored out as the square root of 4 times 3. And simplifying the numbers or the perfect square, you have 3 times the square root of 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3. This is the correct answer for item number 5. So all you need to do here is to manipulate the given radical expressions using the different properties, if ever. And let's move on with item number 6. We are given two binomials. You have 2 square root of 3 plus 2 uh, plus 3 times the square root of 2 times 2 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 2. In this kind of problem, normally, we will be using FOIL method. Again, because they are two binomials. But before multiplying it, or before using FOIL method, try to uh, see the pattern on those, uh, in those binomials. As you can see, the first term is the same as the first term of the second, bi second binomial. And the second term is the same as the second term of the second binomial. But the only difference are their, uh, their operations. This one is addition, and this one is subtraction, meaning we can apply sum and difference of two binomials. So what is the pattern behind that um, special product? First copy your first term, you have 2 square root of 3, and then square the first term. Okay, you have 2 square root of 3 raised to 2. And then another thing, I think pattern here, yeah, this is the pattern, when you use a square of binomial a plus b times a minus b. Their product is simply equal to a squared minus b squared. And following this pattern, all you need to do is to square the first term. Yan yung ginawa natin. We have 2 square root of 3 squared. Then minus, get your second term, which is 3 square root of 2. And then square your second term. And simplifying 2 square root of 3 squared. Hindi lang siya basta 2 times 3. Mali yan. 
So the product or the simplified form of this expression is simply 4 times 3. Ano nangyari? Nagkaroon tayo na 2 square, which is 4, and then squaring square root of 3, it will give you 3. Minus, ito naman, 3 square, again 3 square, it will give you 9 times. We can eliminate the radical here, so this is times 2. Simplifying this, this is 12 minus 18. And the answer for item number 6 is simply negative 6. This is the correct answer for number 6. Pero check muna natin yung sagot natin ha. Again, review natin. Copy your first term and then square it minus. Copy your second term, 3 square root of 2 square. And then simplifying this, 2 raised to 2, 4. Square root of 3, 3. Minus 3 square 9. Okay, good. So 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 9 times 2, which is 18. Okay, the correct answer is negative 6. So we are done solving or simplifying, multiplying radicals with 6 examples. We're in, gumamit tayo ng different methods on how to simplify this one. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!